Hey rookie, kudos again on your acceptance to Cajun Koi Academy. As you know, you're about to embark on a demanding journey to expand your mind. It will push your limits. It will break your spirit. You're gonna wish you brought a second, even a third pair of underwear for those sticky times. But before we get there, we'll first need to figure out your focus energy, which will determine your ideal learning style. Upon arrival to Cajun Koi Academy, all rookies will face Match Day, a series of trials to determine the nature of their focus energy. Our focus energy governs how we interact with the world. It explains our personality, our behavior, and our beliefs. Understanding how this energy flows allows us to take advantage of our strengths instead of working against them. Up until now, you may have never considered how your focus energy affects you. You've probably thought there was something wrong with you when your peers seemed to excel in areas you just couldn't figure out. Maybe you were even brave enough to ask for their advice, but you quickly realized their approach was absolutely not gonna work for you. And then you're left feeling like you're a broken human, flawed beyond repair. Rookie, that couldn't be farther from the truth. We all have potential to achieve incredible things. What works for Gone Freaks over there might not work for you. And that's why we host Match Day, to identify your focus energy to guide you toward the most optimal learning style at Cajun Koi Academy. Your performance with Match will assign you to one of three prestigious clubs. Here, you'll meet and collaborate with fellow like-minded energies, other rookies who learn and even think like you. The origin of the three focus energies, the Torah, the Kuma, and the Kitsune, takes us back long before Cajun Koi. It was on the distant planet Earth where neuroscientists discovered the connection between the body and the mind. Humans have three specific brain types that govern their behavior and even their physiology. The science pinpoints cellular pathways and attentional processes in specific areas of the brain. For example, if you look at the prefrontal circuits of a Kitsune's brain, you'll see wiring that is sensitive to overstimulation, making these types of humans fast learners who like to multitask. However, the prefrontal circuits of Akuma's brain is wired to be more resistant to stimulation, which translates to these students being slower but more methodical thinkers. This unique neurobiology has been found in all areas of the brain, and by identifying your specific focus energy, you'll unlock the science behind how your brain best learns studies, manages time, procrastinates, and solves problems out in the real world as a ranger of the academy. So which club will you match with? Are you a Kitsune? Their focus energy is adaptable, vibrant, and radiating. Kitsunes tend to be charismatic, quick on their feet, and their wit, and spontaneous. When they encounter stress, Kitsunes can become anxious as their racing mind is overwhelmed with fearful thoughts. They are quick learners. However, a hungry mind makes them easily distractible, and thus they are also quick to forget. Therefore, Kitsunes are most suited for short bursts of laser-focused work and evolving schedules that keep them stimulated and curious. They value creativity above all and turn out to be some of the most innovative rangers we graduate. Are you a Torah? Their focus energy is robust, sturdy, and fiery. Torahs tend to be confident, strong-willed, and passionate in their pursuits. When they encounter stress, Torahs become agitated as their mind is inconvenienced and taken by frustration. They are goal-oriented. However, desire can often cloud their judgment and leave them stubborn to the input of others. Therefore, Torahs prefer carefully planned schedules with clear goals and deadlines that they can work towards to stay focused. They value ambition above all and are the most natural leaders of all rangers we graduate. Or are you a Kuma? Their focus energy is calm, steady, and graceful. Kumas tend to be chill, kind-hearted, and easygoing. When they encounter stress, Kumas become unmotivated as their mind projects hopelessness. They are slow learners that need a little boost to get going. However, once immersed, they master their craft and retain their knowledge for the long term. Therefore, Kumas prefer routines and rituals to build momentum and get the ball rolling to stay focused. They value relationships above all. They protect the weak and become the most beloved rangers we graduate. No one club is superior to another. You may even connect with multiple clubs or all of them. Match day is not intended to suggest that we can't have hybrid energy. In fact, most of us have a blend of all three clubs. Rather, it's aimed to engage reflection to serve as a guide as you navigate your life here at Cajun Koi Academy and beyond. So I bet you're really eager now to see where you fit in, rookie. 
follow the path below and begin your trials. It's basically a link in the description below. And comment below which club you've matched and say hello to your fellow clubmates.